This video will show you how to use the LifeGuard Smart Carer app to interact with the LifeGuard Smart Home Medical Alarm System, including the IP Dialer, Smart Home Mate, Smart Mobile, and Smart Watch. With the client's permission, you can use the Smart Carer app to access reports, view any vital signs they've recorded, set up the geofence tracking and location function, and update the client's details at any time. You can also use the Smart Care app to make voice or video calls to the client's Smart Home IP dialer. This is especially handy for those clients who no longer have landlines. In order to use the app, you must be one of the emergency contacts the client has provided to INS LifeGuard, and we must have your mobile number on file. The first time you open the app, you'll come to the welcome screen. Tap the arrow in the bottom right to continue. This is where you set up the app. Tap Next to continue. The app will advise that you'll need to log in with a phone number and a one-time password. Tap Login. The app will display a disclaimer. You must read and accept the conditions in the disclaimer to continue using this app. The app will now display a verification screen. Here you can choose to view our Terms of Service and Privacy Policy if desired. To verify your phone number, enter it on the top and tap Verify Phone Number. Once you've entered your phone number, we will send a password via SMS. When you receive the code, Simply tap to copy it and then paste it into the app, or you can type it in directly. Tap Continue. Once you've successfully logged in, you should see the names of the people who have authorized you to view their information. If they aren't immediately visible, tap LG Users in the top left of the screen to display them. The three icons at the top of the home screen are the main menus. LG Users shows the client record including individuals and devices associated with the account. The Activities screen shows a list of all activities for the LifeGuard users, whether that was alarms triggered, abnormal vital sign readings recorded, geofence alerts, or notifications from INS LifeGuard. The Settings screen lets you see the information we have on file for you as the person's family member or carer. You can update this information at any time by tapping on your name at the top of the screen. Then tap the Update Profile button. Change any details as necessary, then tap Update to save your changes. Tap the arrow at the top to return to your user profile. From this screen, you can also send us feedback regarding the application by tapping Feedback. You can enter your message and even add a screenshot if necessary. Tap Send, choose your preferred email program, and just send the email. You can also learn more about INS and view the terms and conditions and privacy policy again at any time. You can also log out of the application completely by tapping Log Out. However, you will need to re-enter your mobile number and passcode to get back in. To view or edit the client information, tap LG Users in the top left. Below each client name, you'll see all devices assigned to that client. This could include the LifeGuard Smart Home IP Dialer, the Smart Home Mate, Smart Mobile, or Smart Watch. Clients who appear under the heading Active Monitoring are those who have granted you their permission to view or edit their information. 
Those under inactive monitoring have listed you as an emergency contact, but have not granted permission to view or edit their information. You can request permission from someone who hasn't yet granted it by tapping their name, then tap Send Request. You'll see confirmation that your request has been sent. The client will be notified on their alarm system that you have requested this permission, which they can then choose to approve. For those listed under active monitoring who have given their permission, you simply tap the client name to access reports, alarms, and activities. To view reports, tap reports. Choose a date range. and an alarm type or a specific device. Once you've selected the parameters, tap View Report. You could also choose to download a PDF. Tap Activities to view a live activity stream of all events, including alarms, vital sign alerts for any measurements that have exceeded the preset thresholds, or geofence location alerts. Tap Alarms to view all alarms received for this client record, whether generated by the user pressing the Help button or those from fall sensors, activity monitors, smoke detectors, vital signs, or even low battery alerts. Immediately below the file name, you'll find the client record, in this case, Frank Smith. Tap the client name, then tap Client Details. Tap Edit to change them. A disclaimer will appear that you must read and accept before you can make any changes. When finished, tap the Save button to save your changes. Tap on Vital Signs then choose a category to view any vital sign measurements the client has recorded. At the bottom of the screen is a button to set the thresholds for this client. A blood pressure that might be of concern for one person might be completely normal for another, so you can use this to customize the normal range for this user. You'll receive alerts if any readings are outside of these thresholds. Tap to access the preset thresholds, then tap the pencil icon next to the measurement that you wish to customize. Adjust the numbers, then tap OK to save. If you wish to reset it back to our default settings, tap the Reset button. Below the client names, you'll see any devices associated with that client's record. In this example, the client has a smart home IP dialer, smart mobile, and a smart watch. Tap on any device and a menu will pop up where you can choose to view the device details, view or set geofence locations for mobile devices, and even call the device. Device details will show the device code and software version. Tap geofences to view or set up geofence location tracking. This function will let you receive alerts if the user's device leaves the area you specify. If geofence areas have already been set up, you'll see those on the map with a circle around them. Geofence areas can be set up by others with access to this account. You can only edit those that you set up yourself. Tap the geofence area to mute or remove it. Muting leaves a geofence in place, but stops sending notifications until you unmute it. Tap the plus sign in the lower right corner to add a new geofence area. 
Use your fingers to zoom in on the device's location, then tap the map to set the geofence point. Choose the radius of the geofence area using the slider below the map. You can set the area to be anywhere from 100 meters to 2 kilometers from the point you choose. The area will be displayed on the map. Press Continue. Now enter a label to identify this particular geofence, for example, home. Then tap Continue. Your geofence location is saved and displayed on the map. You will now receive alerts anytime the device leaves the specified area. This is useful for clients who may have dementia or be at risk of wandering so that loved ones can be notified. Another useful feature is the ability to call the user's device via either audio or video call. Tap the device you wish to call, then tap the call button and it will automatically call the device. To hang up, tap the red phone icon. To place a video call, select the device and press the video call button. It will ring on the user's device where they can choose to answer or decline the call. You can make a few minutes of free audio calls per month between the Smart Home Alarm System and the nominated contacts using the Smart Carer app. Optional packages are available for purchase to allow both audio and video calls. The client can also add our optional telephone service, which lets them use their Smart Home IP dialer as a standard telephone. We hope you find using the LifeGuard Smart Carer app to be a benefit as it adds important functionality to the LifeGuard Smart Home Emergency Response System. Should you require assistance, please call 1-800-636-226. Feel free to send us feedback by going into Settings and tapping Feedback as mentioned previously. And thank you for using the LifeGuard Smart Carer app.